What do you do when the pressure turns all the way up? Do you step up to the plate or do you crumble like a house of cards? Well, for these 128 players, the pressure is absolutely on as we get into stage two of the Clash Royale League World Finals qualifiers. Hello, welcome. I'm Rich Slayton. Joining me, as always, my buddy Andrew Guy. And this is Three Crowds, your bi-weekly home for Clash Royale, esports news, and beyond. Andrew, 20 win challenge happened. Ladder, the brutal, brutal ladder has now whittled us down to 128 people. This is going to be a tough road for them. A lot more to go. What do we have on store today? That's right, man. Stage two is in the books. Stage three is coming your way. And stage two was fascinating. A lot of really cool standouts there and some big surprising misses. You're going to break that down for us in just one moment. Talking about dual mode, talking about the CRL summer qualifier here. Let's talk about building decks. Have you ever done it before? Have you ever been in a best of three dual set? Well, AC is going to break down how you guys should be building those decks and what you should be looking for in the cards that you want, the win conditions that you need, and how to make sure that you have stuff available for that very devastating game number three. And speaking of threes, stage three is starting tomorrow. That's right. The double elimination bracket is coming your way. We're going to have it on broadcast. But first, 128 players remain. Rich, break it down, brother. Well, this was so different. They called it ladder. This is not your regular ladder. You didn't get as much gameplay as you can get in in, in the time before the thing ends. 10 games a day, 50 total games to prove yourself, 50 dual sets to prove yourself here in Clash Royale League. And it proved to be so difficult, so different. And a lot of top tier players did get through. A couple of people didn't make it all the way to the end. We have a couple of guys who, of course, picked out early. Wallace out of Brazil going through to World Finals. We're all excited to see him. Riley, the young bait player. But the biggest news of the entire ladder stage as we move into phase three, the top finisher, that's right, the original, the GOAT, Surgical Goblin, finishing number one overall on that stage two ladder. He's gonna go on, and I know a lot of you at home rooting to see Surgical Goblin this September at CRL World Finals. A few players did not end up making the cup, but the most important one for many of you watching at home most certainly did. Now, of course, those top 128 are locked. No one else can get into Clash Royale League World Finals this year. But of course, there's always next year, and you better get ready now to figure out how to get yourself into those coveted spots for a Clash Royale League trip to World Finals. To help you figure out the most important part, building those dual deck sets, let's go over to two-time regional Clash Royale League champion, Joshua AC Share. Thank you, Rich. That's right. I'm going to be helping you with the dual deck format. It's, I mean, let's let's start it off as simple as possible. How do we want to build this? Do we want to start from scratch? How do, how? No, we are not going to be doing that. We are going to be opening the friends menu by accident. And then we're really going to be going to TV Royale and just looking for that brilliant deck that we want to start off with, that we want to build around. So right here, deck number one, this is what we want to be starting off with. We want something that doesn't overlap with a lot of uh, other decks. You know, you do have the Fireball, but that's about it. You're not going to use Miner in a lot. You're not going to use Archer Queen in a lot. You're not even going to use something like the Fire Spirit a lot. Like a lot of the time, these cards are only for this deck. Now, one little swap that I am going to do real quick before I keep talking about it is the guards. The skeletons are really good for ladder, but the guards are great for this dual deck format. They're so strong on defense, and you use the skeletons to try and outcycle earthquakes. But with the dual format, you can just wait till the earthquake is out. Yes, you can, you know, sometimes lose to other bad matchups, but that's why it's so fun to just work around everything. And so that's why we're gonna swap in the guards. We need that strong defense. Deck number two, are we gonna stick with ease? Yes, but not in the previous way. We're actually gonna be using our outside resources. What does that mean? YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube is going to be the answer for this deck. I was watching Tribal Wallace's gameplay the other day and I was thinking, man, what a delicious deck. We have the Bar Barrel and what is our last card? It is going to be the Earthquake. So why did we use this deck? Deck number two, we don't have to worry about that overlap anymore. We want something strong. We want something that can beat any deck in the meta that is going to have an okay matchup and a control deck with the Giant Skeleton, the Ram Rider, the uh, Golden 
Knight, that's always going to be a viable option. It's always going to have an okay matchup. It's always going to give you an opportunity to win with a Magic Archer Snipe, Earthquake Cycle, whatever, what have you. And that is why I like that for my deck number two. Deck number three, because we've used two great decks, we have to get a little cute. We have to do something a little tricky. And this is going to be our deck number three. You know, at the end of the day, you want to have meta. You want to have ultra meta. You want to have sort of meta. And this is kind of the sort of meta. I want to have fun with the game. I want to be using my three musketeers. Still considered one of the best in the world with it because only eight players play it. And I think I would rank probably number seven and that's okay. Deck number four. This is kind of where you're just throwing everything out the wall, hoping it sticks. And... We're just gonna throw in a Dark Prince. We wanna have that splash. We wanna have that ability to stop the drill. There's a lot of synergy between the decks. We have the Three Musketeers, the Mortar. When Earthquake is not an opportunity for my opponent, we use uh, decks one or three. When Earthquake is an opportunity, we can use two or four. There's so many outplay abilities with the decks overall, but with our choices as well. And it just provides so much fun when it's in friendly battles. I get when it's in competition, it can be stressful. That's why I cast now, and that's why I do these YouTube videos, because it's a lot more fun to just cheer on the side for those competitors. And that's going to be all from me, from this 5 win 21 challenge player. I kind of got to the last day, and I was having a lot of fun with like interesting decks and uh, I didn't put in my best effort. But next time, that's the great thing about Clash Royale. There's another opportunity around the corner always. That's going to be it from me. Andrew, take it away. Five wins. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, AC. My voice cracked because I was so blown away by how good you still are at Clash Royale League. And guess you won't make it to stage three. I won't make it to stage three. But talking about stage three, it's going to be on broadcast tomorrow. That's right. All the rest of the stages will be broadcasted for you guys. And if you don't know how stage three works, well, we have 128 players remaining and they're going to be joining a double elimination bracket. They'll be facing off against each other where only 32 players will be remaining and you are eliminated because it is double elimination after losing two matches. Then those remaining 32 players will move on to stage four, a Swiss bracket. However, there are five rounds. It is Swiss, but there is a caveat. If you lose three times in these five rounds, you are immediately eliminated. The top 16 players from stage four will then advance to stage five, which is another Swiss bracket. It's the exact same format, five rounds. If you lose three times, you are eliminated. But by the end of those five rounds in stage five, there will be eight players remaining and they will have their golden ticket to world finals to compete for a million dollar cash prize. But that's not all. On September 11th, there is our last chance qualifier the other eight players that did not secure their golden ticket will be battling it out to get those final two remaining golden tickets and again those last four stages will all be on broadcast rich crl is officially underway and we get to start casting tomorrow my friend I absolutely cannot wait, Andrew. This is where it gets real. Every single match matters so much more. The stress levels shoot through the roof, and we're going to find out who are the true players, who are the true stars who can rise to the occasion, and who are those going to look at the bright lights and absolutely fade away as we go from our top 128 all the way to Helsinki. That's right. Starting tomorrow, right here on this channel, broadcasted live. So subscribe, turn on those notifications. You do not want to miss any of the action coming your way over the next four stages. And of course, at World Finals. When we're in Helsinki, you should be right here watching on YouTube or on Twitch. Also, check out Esports Royale EN on Twitter, esports.clashroyale.com for a great website where all the information is centralized. Or if you don't want to go online, you don't want to have to subscribe on YouTube, open up your app and go to the tournament hub. Every Everything you need to know is right there. And that's it for today. For everyone, for a part of this show, that includes the production squad, Joshua, AC, Sharon, Andrew Guy, I'm Rich Slayton. We'll see you back here next time on Three Crowns.